Hey everybody, it's Randy with Carchaeology. I've got my coffee. It is bright and early on a Sunday morning and the buyer for the Charger 500 is on his way. And here they are. The boys are here for the charger and they're crawling all over it. Love the response of who the hell did all the cutting back here? <laughs> that was Creative Industries guys. <laughs> no, too fun. Mind if we strip everything out? Yeah, no good. Pull everything out. You can see the big hole in the trunk. Just kidding. <laughs> So there were a couple extra door panel pieces in there that might have been the originals. Crossing it, it doesn't have the power windows. Right, down. exactly. So if you wanted to go back to the crank windows, which would probably be a decent idea. Um, but they were cut for uh, speaker holes. He was definitely prepared for the worst, man. Extra ignition box, extra voltage regulator. <laughs> Oh, it's true. Yeah. No, it had a whole bunch of spares in it. And I, maybe that was from when he was driving it all the time. I don't know. That totally tripped me out when it first came here because I'm looking at it, I'm going, wait a second, there's Bondo and stuff in here. Did somebody make this thing into a 500? <laughs> but I mean, I knew what a 500 was, but I had no idea that they didn't do that roof there at the Dodge factory, that it was done aftermarket basically. Yep. And that, and uh, yeah, and fast and crude. And, yep. and obviously it didn't, uh, the paint didn't hold up like the factory did everywhere else. And all the uh like you got a complete green interior out of another car. Yeah, you know, he did that with a lot of stuff. There were a lot of like extra parts that he would grab. Oh, okay. and uh and shove you know somewhere in case he needed them down the road so yeah. when we went through the property we found all sorts of extra pieces for for the cars yeah that was the air force base that he was driving back and forth to from tucson that's awesome and so he fired this baby up got the air going and Hit the desert. So long. Yeah. Nice <laughs> little, you know, away from the... Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Well, and just the whole, uh, you know, the way that this is put on there, the supports and everything like that, it's uh, it's a trippy thing. Yeah. Yeah, and like, like the cap on the back where they cut it for the... Oh, here? Yeah. yeah. The whole, you can see the whole piece exactly. on there, yeah. Right. Yeah, really fun. Yeah. I didn't want to yeah. It. 
Come on. I let, well, maybe I won't. <laughs> it opened before. Yeah. Open. Yes, sir. Oh, you break it, you buy it, right? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I don't know if that latch is just sticky. Yeah. Cack. R11 Tony. <laughs> like the lower dash, man. The console's not cracked. They, they always cool. crack back there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nobody's allowed in the back seat. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's everybody's tendency when they get in is put their hand right on that. Right. Warning. <laughs> Don't fuck with it. <laughs> that is so that's from when he bought it from Right On Motors. Right On. <laughs> Which he got 11. I think it's May 31st, 74 is when he bought the car. That's 65,000 miles. 93. So it, he probably rolled that over. Well, it looks like the charger is going to go on this bad boy here. And it's going to join the Hemi Challenger. And they can remain together, which is really super cool. Mags that were on this car when it was in storage, does Troy want those? Yeah, Google filming. Yeah. Because I think everybody that saw pictures of this thing come out of the uh, out of the garage are like, oh, the slot mags need to stay with it. Yeah. So, yeah. so cool, you can take those with. That'll probably work. Amen, brother. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, after I watched a YouTube video and I saw the interior, and then yeah, right. from your social media posts, I'd seen it and I was like, yeah, that's a cool car. It's oh, right. gonna turn out badass. Yeah, awesome. Well, I'm glad it's going to a good home. Heck yeah, we're excited to have it. Our first one. We yeah. Love chargers, man. That's our first Charger 500. Awesome. Thanks very much, guys. No, yeah, nice to meet you guys, and uh, it is going to the right home, and that's what it's all about. Cool. Right on, thank you. And there she goes. I'm super stoked about this. Definitely right people for the right car. Oh, they forgot something. They're bringing it back.
Hey, th no returns, right? <laughs> And there it goes. Oh, totally stoked. Right people, right place, right car. And it gets to join the Hemi Challenger as a part of a really amazing collection of Mopars. I love it. Love it, love it, love it.